What if I told you some fish you regularly consume are potentially toxic? Fish is often praised as a nutritional powerhouse, providing essential omega-3 fatty acids, high-quality protein, vitamins, and minerals. Omega-3 fatty acids, for example, are crucial for brain health, reducing inflammation, and supporting heart function. The high-quality protein found in fish aids in muscle repair, while its rich vitamin and mineral content, including vitamins D and B12, as well as minerals like iodine and selenium, contribute to a range of bodily functions, from thyroid regulation to immune support. However, despite these well-documented benefits, what if some of the fish you regularly consume could be laden with toxins, contaminants, or harmful fats that undermine these health advantages? It's a concerning reality that not all fish are equally safe to eat. Certain species, due to their feeding habits, habitats, and lifespans, are more likely to accumulate harmful substances. These toxins and contaminants can include heavy metals like mercury, industrial pollutants such as polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, and other harmful compounds that can accumulate in fish tissues. Over time, the consumption of contaminated fish can lead to serious health issues such as neurological damage, reproductive problems, and an increased risk of chronic diseases. Moreover, some farmed fish may contain harmful fats and other additives from their feed, further complicating their health profile. While fish can be an integral part of a healthy diet, contributing to everything from cardiovascular health to cognitive function, it's important to be informed about which types are safer and which might pose significant health risks. This comprehensive guide highlights the top 17 types of fish you should consider avoiding to protect your health. By understanding these risks, you can make more informed choices that align with your health goals, ensuring that you reap the benefits of fish consumption without exposing yourself to unnecessary harm. Make sure to watch until the end of the video, because you'll be shocked by the amount of toxins found in some very popular fish that are indispensable ingredients in meals and commonly thought to be safe. Number 1 Squid Squid, scientifically known as cephalopods, are fascinating marine creatures with distinctive elongated bodies, large eyes, and ten limbs. They are a popular culinary choice worldwide, but despite their appeal, squid can be a significant source of heavy metals, particularly cadmium, posing serious health risks. Cadmium is a toxic heavy metal that accumulates in squid tissue, leading to potential health issues such as kidney and liver damage. Unlike other seafood with trace heavy metals, squid often have higher cadmium levels due to their diet and environment. Studies reveal that squid can contain up to 2.5 mg of cadmium per kilogram of tissue, significantly exceeding safe consumption limits for humans. This accumulation is particularly concerning because squid act as bioaccumulators, storing more toxins as they age, especially in polluted waters. The ink of squid, used in dishes like squid pasta, also poses risks. Squid ink contains compounds such as dopamine and melanin. Although melanin has antioxidant properties, it can bind to heavy metals like cadmium, increasing exposure risks if not properly prepared or sourced from clean waters. To minimize health risks associated with squid ink, follow specific guidelines. Source ink from clean, unpolluted waters and ensure it is tested for heavy metals. Limit consumption, as the FDA recommends adults consume no more than 0.5 mg of cadmium per week. Even small amounts of high cadmium ink can quickly surpass this limit. Thoroughly cooking squid and avoiding raw squid handling can also reduce exposure risks. Additionally, consider the high cholesterol content in squid, which can be problematic for heart health. Balance squid intake with low cholesterol foods to maintain overall health. As we uncover the dangers in other fish, you might find that squid isn't the only seafood with significant risks. Stay informed to make healthier dietary choices. Number 2. Albacore Tuna Albacore Tuna, often found in canned form labeled as white tuna, is a popular choice due to its mild flavor and versatility in various dishes. Unlike its larger cousin, the bluefin tuna, albacore is typically smaller and known for its higher fat and omega-3 fatty acid content, making it a nutritious option for heart health. However, albacore tuna poses a hidden danger, it can accumulate methylmercury, a toxic compound that can harm health, especially affecting the nervous system. Methylmercury builds up in the body over time, particularly affecting the brain and nervous system. Studies indicate that consuming just 6 ounces of albacore tuna weekly can lead to elevated blood mercury levels, especially problematic for older adults. 
Despite its nutritional benefits, including approximately 1,000 mg of EPA and DHA in a 3-ounce serving, Albacore tuna also contains 0.3 to 0.5 micrograms of methylmercury per serving, a notable amount given that the FDA recommends limiting mercury intake to 2.2 micrograms daily for a 154-pound adult. This accumulation is more concerning for older individuals, who are more vulnerable to nerve damage and cognitive decline associated with high mercury exposure. To mitigate risks, consider diversifying seafood choices. Low mercury options such as salmon, shrimp, or sardines offer substantial omega-3 benefits with minimal mercury risk. For instance, a 3-ounce serving of salmon provides about 700 mg of EPA and DHA, making it a healthier alternative. If opting for albacore tuna, choose sustainably sourced varieties that adhere to pole fishing practices, which typically catch younger, smaller fish with lower mercury levels. This approach helps mitigate health risks while enjoying the nutritional benefits of seafood. Number 3. Tilapia. Tilapia, a widely consumed freshwater fish known for its affordability and pleasant taste, presents notable health considerations due to its nutritional composition and farming practices. Unlike fish such as salmon, which boast a healthier balance of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids, tilapia contains approximately 1,500 mg of omega-6 and only 200 mg of omega-3 for 100 grams. This significant imbalance can contribute to inflammation, potentially heightening the risk of chronic conditions like heart disease and hypertension, particularly problematic for individuals predisposed to such ailments. Moreover, the farming methods employed for tilapia can impact its nutritional profile and safety. Often raised in densely populated environments, farm tilapia are commonly fed diets rich in grains and soy to promote growth. While aiding in rapid development, this practice elevates the fish's omega-6 levels, exacerbating the already skewed ratio of essential fatty acids. Compounding these concerns are the farming conditions in some regions, where lax regulatory oversight may expose tilapia to contaminants and antibiotics. Chemical absorption from the surrounding water further compounds these risks, potentially leading to higher levels of pollutants in the fish destined for consumption. To mitigate potential health hazards associated with consuming tilapia, it is advisable to opt for sources that adhere to stringent farming standards, ensuring reduced exposure to contaminants and improved nutritional quality. Balancing one's diet with omega-3 rich alternatives like salmon, mackerel, flax seeds, walnuts, and chia seeds can counteract the disproportionate omega-6 levels found in tilapia. When preparing tilapia, opting for baking or grilling methods with herbs and spices rather than frying helps preserve its nutritional integrity while minimizing potential adverse effects. While tilapia can be enjoyed as part of a diverse diet, Prudent selection and preparation are essential to mitigate risks associated with its consumption, promoting overall health and well-being. Number 4 Types of Fish That Are High in Mercury Mercury exposure is a significant concern due to its potential health impacts, particularly for older adults and pregnant women. Chronic exposure to mercury can exacerbate neurological conditions like Alzheimer's disease and increase the risk of cardiovascular issues such as heart attacks. Unlike many other dietary concerns, the effects of mercury are cumulative and long-term, making it particularly dangerous even in small amounts over time. Pregnant women are especially vulnerable because mercury can cross the placenta and harm fetal development. Therefore, it's crucial for expectant mothers to avoid fish known to have high mercury levels. However, merely avoiding these fish isn't sufficient. It's important to understand that cooking methods do not reduce mercury levels in fish meat. This necessitates careful selection and preparation of fish to minimize exposure. When purchasing fish, choose fresh varieties that appear clear and unstained. Upon bringing fish home, rinse it thoroughly under cold running water. It's advisable to remove the skin, tail, fins, and internal organs before cooking, as these parts tend to accumulate higher levels of mercury. Many fishmongers offer assistance with this preparation to ensure safer consumption. To further reduce mercury levels, soak the fish in a solution of lemon juice or vinegar for 30 minutes to an hour. The acidic properties of these solutions can help break down and remove some mercury content. After soaking, rinse the fish again under running water before proceeding with cooking. Opt for cooking methods that minimize oil usage and exposure to high temperatures, such as steaming, grilling, braising, or stewing. These methods not only preserve the nutritional integrity of the fish but also reduce the absorption of mercury into the body compared to frying or direct exposure to high heat. 
Consumers, particularly pregnant women and older adults, should also consider diversifying their seafood choices by opting for fish with lower mercury content. Options like salmon, mackerel, and herring, whether from freshwater or marine sources, provide beneficial omega-3 fatty acids without the heightened risks associated with mercury. By following these precautions and making informed choices, individuals can safely incorporate fish into their diet while minimizing potential health risks associated with mercury exposure. Awareness of alternative options and appropriate cooking techniques ensures a balanced approach to seafood consumption that prioritizes health and well-being. Number 5. Eel. Eels, with their serpentine form and smooth skin, stand out among fish species for both their appearance and unique biological traits. Scientifically, eels possess a remarkable ability to absorb environmental toxins directly through their skin and gills. This characteristic sets them apart but also poses significant health risks, making them less favored for consumption compared to other fish varieties. Unlike many fish that inhabit cleaner aquatic environments, eels often reside in polluted waters. This habitat choice exposes them to higher concentrations of contaminants such as mercury and PCBs, polychlorinated biphenyls. Studies have indicated that eels can accumulate up to 0.5 mg per kilogram of mercury, surpassing levels found in more commonly consumed fish species. This high toxin load underscores the potential health hazards associated with consuming eels regularly. Eels are also notable for their extensive migratory patterns, journeying thousands of miles from freshwater rivers to the sea for breeding. While this migration is a testament to their resilience and adaptability, it also means they traverse through varied and potentially polluted environments. This migratory behavior not only increases their exposure to pollutants but also highlights their ecological importance in maintaining balance within aquatic ecosystems. Despite their ability to regenerate lost body parts, a rare trait among fish, this regenerative capability does not mitigate the health risks posed by the toxins they accumulate. For those who choose to include eels in their diet, sourcing them from clean, unpolluted waters is crucial to minimize exposure to contaminants. Regular consumption of eels from polluted areas can lead to mercury poisoning, resulting in symptoms like muscle weakness and cognitive impairment over time. To promote health and reduce risks associated with eel consumption, it's prudent to consider alternative fish options that are less likely to accumulate toxins. Fish such as salmon or sardines are renowned for their lower levels of mercury and other contaminants while offering beneficial nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids. In conclusion, understanding the distinctive biological traits and potential drawbacks of eels highlights the importance of informed seafood choices. By prioritizing fish sourced from clean waters and limiting consumption of high mercury species like eels, individuals can enjoy the nutritional benefits of seafood while minimizing exposure to harmful substances. This approach ensures a balanced and health-conscious diet that supports overall well-being. Number 6. Sardines. Sardines, recognized for their petite size and nutritional richness in omega-3 fatty acids, calcium, and vitamin D, offer substantial health benefits. These nutrients play essential roles in supporting heart health, maintaining bone density, and reducing inflammation throughout the body. Despite these advantages, older adults, especially those over 50, should be mindful of certain considerations when including sardines in their diet. One notable concern is sardines' high purine content, which can elevate uric acid levels in the body. This increase raises the risk of gout, a painful condition particularly prevalent among older individuals. Furthermore, sardines often contain elevated levels of sodium, which can exacerbate conditions like hypertension, a common issue among seniors that is linked to heart disease and stroke. Health experts advise limiting daily sodium intake to 1,500 mg, yet a single serving of sardines can provide up to 350 mg, easily exceeding this recommended limit. To manage these potential health risks, older adults are advised to consume sardines no more than once a week. Choosing water-packed varieties can help reduce overall calorie and fat intake while minimizing sodium levels. It's crucial to carefully check product labels for sodium content and consider rinsing canned sardines under cold water before consumption to further reduce sodium intake. Despite these considerations, sardines remain a valuable addition to a balanced diet for their nutrient density and health benefits. Their omega-3 fatty acids support cardiovascular health by reducing inflammation and lowering triglyceride levels. Calcium and vitamin D contribute to bone health, essential for maintaining strength and reducing the risk of osteoporosis, which becomes increasingly important with age. 
By incorporating sardines mindfully and within recommended limits, older adults can enjoy their nutritional benefits while minimizing potential risks associated with purine and sodium content. Making informed choices about food selection and preparation supports overall health and well-being in the later years of life. Number 7. Escalar Fish Escalar fish, also known as oil fish, inhabits tropical and temperate waters and is recognized for its high oil content, which contributes to its rich flavor. However, this seemingly appetizing characteristic also comes with notable health risks that consumers, especially older adults and those with sensitive digestive systems, should be aware of. Scientifically, Escalar contains high levels of wax esters, compounds that are challenging for the human digestive system to process. These esters can lead to a condition known as carrieria, characterized by oily diarrhea and gastrointestinal discomfort. Just a moderate serving of 150 grams, approximately 5 ounces, of Escalar can trigger these symptoms within 24 hours of consumption, posing significant health concerns, particularly for individuals with compromised digestive functions. Beyond digestive issues, Escalar may harbor parasites and harmful bacteria, including Salmonella and Vibrio, which thrive in its oily flesh. Studies have indicated that up to 10% of Escalar samples can be contaminated with these pathogens, heightening the risk of foodborne illnesses, especially in individuals with weakened immune systems. The deceptive appearance of Escalar, often mistaken for safer fish like white tuna due to its white-scaled exterior, adds to the confusion surrounding its safety. Several countries, including Japan and Italy, have implemented bans on the sale of Escalar due to these health risks, emphasizing its potential hazards despite its culinary appeal. To minimize the health risks associated with Escalar consumption, moderation is key. It is advisable to limit intake to less than 100 grams, about 3.5 ounces, per serving to reduce the likelihood of experiencing adverse digestive effects from wax esters. Proper cooking methods, such as thorough cooking at high temperatures, can help mitigate bacterial contamination, enhancing safety when consuming Escalar. For older adults or those with compromised immune systems, it may be prudent to avoid Escalar altogether and opt for safer fish choices such as salmon or tilapia. Checking the source of seafood and purchasing from reputable suppliers further reduces the risk of contamination and ensures safer consumption practices. While Escalar is protein-rich, providing approximately 15 grams per 100 gram serving, its potential health risks outweigh its nutritional benefits, making informed seafood choices crucial for maintaining overall health and well-being. Switching gears to sushi, it's worth exploring which popular fish commonly found in sushi also pose significant health risks due to various factors such as mercury content or potential for parasites. Number 8. King Mackerel King mackerel, characterized by its flavorful, oily meat, is a predatory fish found in both Atlantic and Gulf waters. It's renowned among seafood enthusiasts for its taste and versatility in cooking, often grilled, baked, or smoked. However, beneath its culinary appeal lies a significant health concern, high mercury levels. Mercury is a toxic metal that accumulates in fish through their diet and environment. As a top predator in the marine food chain, King mackerel ingests smaller fish and organisms that themselves have absorbed mercury from seawater. This bioaccumulation process results in elevated mercury concentrations in king mackerel, particularly in larger and older individuals. For consumers, especially vulnerable groups like pregnant women and young children, excessive mercury intake from fish like king mackerel poses serious health risks. Mercury toxicity can impair neurological development in fetuses and young children, affecting cognitive functions, motor skills, and overall development. In adults, prolonged exposure to high levels of mercury can lead to neurological disorders, cardiovascular problems, and other adverse health effects. To mitigate these risks, health authorities recommend limiting consumption of king mackerel and other high mercury fish. Guidelines typically advise consuming no more than one or two servings per month of such species. This precaution helps reduce mercury exposure while still allowing individuals to enjoy the nutritional benefits of fish, such as high-quality protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and essential minerals like selenium. Choosing smaller species of mackerel or other fish with lower mercury content, such as Atlantic mackerel or sardines, provides similar health benefits with reduced risk. These smaller fish tend to accumulate less mercury due to their shorter lifespan and lower position in the marine food chain. Additionally, Proper cooking methods, such as grilling or broiling, can help reduce fat content while preserving nutritional value. 
By staying informed about mercury levels in seafood and making informed choices, consumers can enjoy fish as part of a healthy diet without compromising their well-being. Number 9. Bluefin Tuna Bluefin tuna, prized for its rich flavor and buttery texture, is a highly sought-after species in the culinary world, particularly prized for sushi and sashimi dishes. However, beneath its culinary appeal lies a significant health consideration, elevated mercury levels. Mercury, a toxic heavy metal, accumulates in bluefin tuna primarily through their diet and environment. As apex predators in the oceanic food chain, bluefin tuna consume smaller fish and organisms that have absorbed mercury from seawater. Over their long lifespan, often exceeding 15 years, bluefin tuna can accumulate high concentrations of mercury in their flesh, particularly in larger individuals. For consumers, especially vulnerable populations like pregnant women and children, excessive mercury intake from bluefin tuna can pose serious health risks. Mercury toxicity can impair cognitive functions such as memory, attention, and language skills. It may also affect motor skills and coordination, posing a risk to both neurological development in children and cognitive health in adults. To mitigate these risks, health advisories recommend limiting consumption of bluefin tuna and opting for alternatives with lower mercury levels. Skipjack tuna, for instance, tends to accumulate less mercury due to its smaller size and shorter lifespan compared to bluefin tuna. When consuming bluefin tuna, it's advised to do so infrequently and in small amounts to minimize mercury exposure while still enjoying its nutritional benefits, such as high-quality protein and omega-3 fatty acids. Regulatory bodies and health organizations often provide guidelines on safe fish consumption to help individuals make informed choices. These guidelines typically suggest consuming no more than one or two servings of high-mercury fish like bluefin tuna per month. Additionally, choosing fish from sustainable sources and adhering to proper cooking methods, such as grilling or baking, can further reduce potential risks associated with mercury and other contaminants. By staying informed about mercury levels in seafood and making conscientious choices, consumers can continue to enjoy bluefin tuna and other seafood responsibly as part of a balanced diet. Ensuring seafood is sourced from reputable suppliers and following dietary guidelines helps maintain health while minimizing exposure to environmental contaminants like mercury. Number 10. Orange Ruffy Orange Ruffy, also referred to as slimehead, is a deep-sea fish known for its longevity and distinctive orange hue. This species can live up to 150 years, making it one of the longest-lived fish in the ocean. While its longevity contributes to its unique ecological role, it also poses health risks for consumers due to its ability to accumulate high levels of heavy metals like mercury and cadmium. Mercury and cadmium are toxic metals that enter the marine environment through industrial pollution and are absorbed by organisms at the bottom of the oceanic food chain. As a predator fish, orange ruffy consumes these contaminated organisms, leading to the bioaccumulation of heavy metals in its flesh over time. The result is that larger and older orange ruffy tend to have higher concentrations of mercury and cadmium. For consumers, particularly vulnerable groups such as children, pregnant women, and individuals with compromised kidney function, regular consumption of orange ruffy can pose significant health risks. Mercury toxicity can impair kidney function and neurological development, while cadmium exposure is linked to kidney damage and bone demineralization. To minimize these risks, health authorities recommend limiting consumption of orange ruffy and opting for fish species with shorter lifespans and lower levels of heavy metals. Alternatives like tilapia or cod are generally considered safer choices due to their lower bioaccumulation of contaminants. When consuming orange ruffy, it's advisable to do so infrequently and in moderation, adhering to dietary guidelines that suggest no more than one or two servings of high mercury fish per month. Additionally, ensuring that seafood is sourced from reputable suppliers and adheres to regulatory standards for mercury and cadmium levels can further reduce health risks associated with orange ruffy consumption. Proper cooking methods, such as baking or broiling, can also help reduce fat content while preserving the nutritional benefits of fish. By making informed choices and following guidelines, consumers can continue to enjoy seafood like orange ruffy as part of a varied and nutritious diet while minimizing exposure to harmful contaminants. Awareness of the potential health risks associated with certain fish species empowers individuals to make decisions that support their health and well-being. Number 11. Sturgeon Sturgeon, a prized fish known for its luxurious caviar, faces significant challenges related to sustainability and environmental contaminants. 
These ancient fish, with some species dating back over 200 million years, are often harvested for their eggs, leading to overfishing and depletion of wild populations. The demand for sturgeon caviar has resulted in intensive fishing, significantly impacting the species' numbers in the wild. Historically, sturgeons were abundant in many large river systems across Europe, Asia, and North America. However, due to over-harvesting for caviar, habitat loss, and pollution, many sturgeon species are now endangered, with some even listed as critically endangered. Compounding the issue, sturgeons are long-lived and slow-growing, making them particularly vulnerable to overfishing. Some sturgeon species can live for over a century and may take 15 to 20 years to reach reproductive maturity, making population recovery a lengthy process. Additionally, the habitats of sturgeons, often large river systems and estuaries, are frequently polluted by industrial activities, leading to the accumulation of contaminants like heavy metals, e.g., mercury, and polychlorinated biphenyls PCBs, in their bodies. These contaminants not only pose risks to the fish but also to humans who consume them, potentially leading to neurological and developmental problems, particularly in vulnerable populations such as pregnant women and young children. To address these environmental and health concerns, it is crucial to source sturgeon products from sustainable and certified suppliers. Sustainable aquaculture practices can mitigate the pressure on wild sturgeon populations, ensuring that harvesting does not contribute to the further decline of these species. Additionally, consumers can consider alternatives like farm trout or tilapia, which offer similar culinary benefits without the significant ecological and health risks associated with sturgeon. Choosing farmed sturgeon from operations certified by organizations like the Aquaculture Stewardship Council ASC, can also help ensure responsible farming practices that minimize environmental impact and contamination risks. In summary, while sturgeon and its caviar are culinary delicacies, the environmental and health implications of their consumption require careful consideration. By supporting sustainable sources and opting for alternatives, consumers can enjoy similar nutritional benefits while contributing to the conservation of this ancient and ecologically significant species. Number 12. Grouper. Grouper, belonging to the family Serenity, is a popular fish species found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. Known for its large size and delicious, firm flesh, grouper is a prized catch for both recreational anglers and commercial fisheries. However, despite its culinary appeal, grouper poses significant health risks due to its tendency to accumulate high levels of mercury and potential contamination with ciguatoxin. Mercury, a heavy metal present in marine environments as a result of industrial pollution, is absorbed by fish through their diet and accumulates in their tissues over time. As a large predatory fish, grouper is higher up in the marine food chain, which means it can accumulate elevated levels of mercury from consuming smaller fish and organisms that have already absorbed mercury. Regular consumption of mercury-contaminated grouper can lead to mercury poisoning in humans, affecting the nervous system, causing neurological symptoms, and posing particular risks to pregnant women and young children. In addition to mercury, Grouper can also harbor ciguatoxin, a toxin produced by certain microscopic marine algae, dinoflagellates, that are eaten by herbivorous fish. Ciguatoxin accumulates as it moves up the food chain, concentrating in predatory fish like grouper. Consuming grouper contaminated with ciguatoxin can result in ciguatera fish poisoning, characterized by gastrointestinal symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and neurological symptoms including numbness, tingling, and temperature reversal, cold things feeling hot and vice versa. Ciguatera poisoning can be debilitating and may persist for weeks to months. To mitigate these health risks associated with grouper consumption, health authorities recommend limiting intake, especially for vulnerable populations such as pregnant women, nursing mothers, and young children. Choosing fish species with lower mercury levels, such as haddock, catfish, or flounder, can provide safer alternatives. It's also advisable to vary seafood choices and avoid consuming large predatory fish like grouper too frequently. Ensuring that grouper and other seafood are sourced from reputable suppliers who adhere to regulatory guidelines for mercury and ciguatoxin levels can further reduce health risks. Proper cooking methods, such as baking or grilling at high temperatures, can help reduce fat content and potential contaminants while preserving the nutritional benefits of fish. By making informed choices and understanding the potential risks associated with grouper consumption, individuals can enjoy seafood responsibly while prioritizing their health and well-being. Number 13 Marlin Marlin, celebrated for its impressive size and strength, 
is a pelagic game fish found in tropical and subtropical waters worldwide. These majestic creatures are highly prized by anglers for their sport fishing qualities, yet marlin's popularity as a catch contrasts with the health risks associated with its consumption. One significant concern regarding marlin is its tendency to accumulate high levels of mercury. Mercury, a toxic heavy metal, enters marine ecosystems primarily through industrial pollution and atmospheric deposition. In aquatic environments, mercury is converted into methylmercury by bacteria, which bioaccumulates in fish tissues as they consume contaminated prey. As a large predatory fish, marlin occupies a high trophic level and thus accumulates elevated concentrations of mercury over its lifespan. Regular consumption of mercury-contaminated marlin can lead to mercury poisoning in humans, impacting the nervous system and causing symptoms such as numbness, tingling, muscle weakness, and impaired cognitive functions. Due to these health risks, health authorities and environmental agencies advise against consuming marlin or recommend limiting its consumption to infrequent amounts. This caution is especially crucial for vulnerable populations such as pregnant women, nursing mothers, young children, and individuals with compromised immune systems. The potential neurological effects of mercury poisoning can have long-lasting consequences, making avoidance or minimal consumption of high mercury fish like marlin a prudent choice for maintaining health. For those who enjoy seafood, opting for alternative fish species with lower mercury levels can provide safer options without sacrificing nutritional benefits. Fish such as salmon, trout, or smaller species of tuna like skipjack or yellowfin generally have lower mercury concentrations compared to large pelagic predators like marlin. These alternatives offer ample protein, omega-3 fatty acids, and other essential nutrients beneficial for heart health and overall well-being. In addition to choosing low mercury fish, consumers can further reduce their exposure to contaminants by selecting seafood from reputable sources that adhere to regulatory guidelines for mercury levels. Proper cooking methods, such as grilling or baking, can also help mitigate potential risks by reducing fat content and enhancing overall food safety. By making informed decisions about seafood consumption and prioritizing health-conscious choices, individuals can continue to enjoy the culinary diversity of fish while minimizing the risks associated with mercury exposure from species like marlin. Number 14 Tilefish, Gulf of Mexico Tilefish, particularly those sourced from the Gulf of Mexico, present a significant health concern due to their exceptionally high levels of mercury. This species, known for its flavorful flesh and popularity among seafood enthusiasts, inhabits deep waters where mercury contamination is prevalent. Mercury, a potent neurotoxin, accumulates from tilefish primarily through their diet of smaller fish and crustaceans, which themselves accumulate mercury from polluted sediments and water. Mercury poisoning from consuming Gulf of Mexico tilefish can have serious implications for human health, especially for vulnerable populations such as pregnant women and young children. Prenatal exposure to mercury can interfere with fetal brain development, potentially leading to cognitive impairments and developmental delays. In adults, chronic exposure to high levels of mercury can affect the nervous system, causing symptoms such as tremors, memory loss, and difficulty concentrating. Recognizing the risks associated with tilefish consumption, health authorities and environmental agencies advise against eating tilefish from the Gulf of Mexico, especially for those most susceptible to mercury's harmful effects. Instead, opting for alternative fish species with lower mercury content is recommended. Fish such as flounder or sole are generally considered safer choices as they typically inhabit shallower waters with lower mercury levels in comparison to deep sea species like tilefish. In addition to avoiding high mercury fish, consumers can take proactive steps to minimize exposure to mercury and other contaminants in seafood. This includes choosing fish that are smaller in size and lower on the food chain, as they tend to accumulate fewer toxins. Proper cooking methods, such as grilling or baking, can also reduce fat content and mitigate potential health risks associated with consuming contaminated fish. Furthermore, staying informed about local fish advisories and regulations can help individuals make informed decisions about seafood consumption. Regulatory bodies often monitor mercury levels in fish populations and issue guidelines to protect public health. By adhering to these guidelines and choosing fish from reputable sources that prioritize food safety, consumers can enjoy seafood while minimizing the risks associated with mercury exposure from tilefish and similar species. Number 15 Chilean Sea Bass Chilean sea bass, also known as Patagonian toothfish, is highly prized in culinary circles for its rich, buttery flavor and tender texture. 
However, beneath its culinary allure lies a significant health concern due to its elevated mercury levels. This deep sea fish, inhabiting cold, deep waters of the Southern Ocean, accumulates mercury over its long lifespan, which can span up to several decades. Mercury contamination in Chilean sea bass primarily occurs through the consumption of smaller fish and organisms that have already absorbed mercury from seawater and sediments. Mercury, a toxic heavy metal, poses serious health risks to human consumers, particularly affecting the nervous system and cardiovascular health. Chronic exposure to high levels of mercury from seafood like Chilean sea bass can lead to symptoms such as neurological disorders, impaired cognitive functions, and cardiovascular issues. Vulnerable populations such as pregnant women and young children are advised to minimize their intake of high mercury fish due to potential developmental and neurological risks. To mitigate the health risks associated with Chilean sea bass consumption, health authorities recommend limiting or avoiding its intake altogether. Instead, opting for fish species with lower mercury levels can provide similar nutritional benefits without the heightened risk of mercury toxicity. Species like pollock or haddock, which are typically smaller, fast-growing, and found in less contaminated waters, offer safer alternatives for seafood enthusiasts concerned about mercury exposure. Consumers can also enhance safety by choosing seafood products from reputable sources that adhere to stringent fishing and sustainability practices. Regulatory bodies and environmental organizations often monitor mercury levels in fish populations and issue guidelines to protect public health. Staying informed about local fish advisories and recommended consumption limits for high mercury species like Chilean sea bass can help individuals make informed decisions about their seafood choices. In conclusion, while Chilean sea bass remains a desirable delicacy in many cuisines, its potential for mercury contamination underscores the importance of moderation and informed consumption. By selecting fish with lower mercury content and following recommended guidelines, consumers can enjoy seafood responsibly while safeguarding their health from the adverse effects of mercury exposure. Number 16 Largemouth Bass Largemouth bass, a popular game fish prized for its size and sporting challenge, inhabits freshwater lakes and rivers across North America. Despite its recreational appeal, largemouth bass can pose significant health risks due to its potential for accumulating high levels of mercury. Mercury enters freshwater ecosystems primarily through industrial pollution, atmospheric deposition, and runoff, where it is converted into methylmercury, a highly toxic form that bioaccumulates in fish tissues over time. Mercury toxicity is a serious concern for human health, particularly affecting the nervous system and cognitive functions. Chronic exposure to elevated levels of mercury from consuming largemouth bass and other contaminated fish can lead to symptoms such as neurological disorders, impaired vision and hearing, and cardiovascular issues. Vulnerable populations such as pregnant women and young children are particularly advised to limit their consumption of high mercury fish to avoid developmental and neurological risks. To mitigate the health risks associated with largemouth bass consumption, health authorities recommend consuming this fish infrequently and in moderation. This approach helps reduce overall mercury intake while still allowing enthusiasts to enjoy the occasional catch. Furthermore, choosing alternative fish species that are smaller, fast-growing, and less likely to accumulate mercury can provide safer options for regular consumption. Fish such as perch or bluegill, which are typically found in cleaner freshwater environments and have lower mercury levels, offer suitable alternatives for anglers and consumers concerned about mercury exposure. Anglers are encouraged to stay informed about local fish advisories and mercury levels in freshwater bodies where they fish. Many environmental agencies and fisheries management organizations regularly monitor mercury contamination in fish populations and issue guidelines to protect public health. By adhering to these guidelines and understanding the potential risks associated with largemouth bass consumption, individuals can make informed decisions to safeguard their health and enjoy recreational fishing responsibly. Number 17 Atlantic Cod Atlantic Cod has long been a staple in many diets due to its mild flavor and versatile culinary uses. However, its popularity has led to severe overfishing, especially in the North Atlantic, where stocks have declined drastically. This overexploitation has raised significant environmental and economic concerns, prompting stringent management measures and the promotion of more sustainable fishing practices. In addition to overfishing, Atlantic cod is also vulnerable to contamination from pollutants in their habitat. These contaminants, which can include heavy metals, PCBs, and other industrial pollutants, accumulate in the fish and pose health risks to consumers. 
Polluted waters, especially near coastal areas with heavy industrial activity, exacerbate these risks, making it essential to be cautious about the source of the cod being consumed. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking the video and sharing it with your friends. Your support helps us create more valuable content. Thank you.